everyone and welcome back to Next Stitch Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this winter bonnet hat. So for today's hat, I will be using this simply aran yarn but you can of course use any yarn you like or prefer you can also use chunky and optional i will be using this fur yarn if you don't have it not to worry at all i will be using five millimeters hook you will need these clips if you don't have them not to worry you can use the packs you will need a yarn needle a pair of scissors a tape measure and also some stitch markers first we are going to start with the slip knot hold your yarn and a like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook and release and this is your slip knot next we are going to chain 33 plus 2 or any multiple of 3 plus 2 will work with this stitch but for our head we need 33 plus 2 so yarn over and pull through the loop you had on your hook that's one two three and multiple of three means you will do three six nine and so on so continue until you have 33 and then we will add two more together so i chained 33 and now i'm going to add two more so one and two so you should have 35 stitches for row one we are going to work single crochet into this second stitch from your hook so not this one we never count the loop on the hook so we will work single crochet into this one here insert like so yarn over bring it up two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through into the next chain insert yarn over and this is how you are going to work all the way across placing one single crochet in each chain across continue placing your single crochet i am finishing this row one with single crochet all the way like so and i have only last chain left and simply just place your last single crochet like so chain one and turn your work like so and you will always chain one at, at the end of each row so turn your work and now you will work into this one here this stitch here let me just show you so you will work right here and you will place single crochet into the same place you will place half double crochet to do half double crochet you are going to yarn over insert bring it up you will have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops like so and again into the same place where you have done single crochet and half double crochet you will do double crochet yarn over insert yarn over bring it up three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and yarn over through two so into the same place we have done single crochet half double crochet and double crochet next we are going to skip two stitches and you can see much better from the top so one and two and we are going to skip two and into this third one you will place exactly this same 
three stitches. So single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet. So into this third one, first we need single crochet. Yarn over, next one will be half double crochet. And one more stitch, we need double crochet into the same place. Like so. And this is how you are going to repeat it all the way across. So you will skip two stitches and into the third one you will do exactly the same into the same place you will do single crochet half double crochet and double crochet all three into the same place like so so i show you one more time Skip next two, one and two, and into this third one. Place single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet, like so. Skip two and continue. So you will work like this. Next, you will skip two. You will play single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet and so on all the way across until you come somewhere here and then I will show you how to finish this row too. I am finishing this row too so I have just done single crochet, half double and double, skip two, one, two and this into and into this third one I will do single crochet half double crochet and double crochet all three into the same place then i will have only three stitches left so i will skip one two and always into the last one you will do only single crochet like this chain one and turn your work and from now on, you will repeat row two all the way up. So I will show you one more time for the row three. So you will start right here. And you will place single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet. And now it's a good idea to look from the top because it's easier to see the stitches so again you will skip one two and into this third one you will place again what we did before so you will do single crochet half double crochet and double crochet again look from the top one two these two you will skip and you will and you will work into this third one single crochet half double crochet and double crochet so you will so you will work like this all the way across and then i show you how to finish this row three i am finishing this row three and again if you look from the top you have one two stitches so you will skip those two and into the last one again you will place only single crochet like this chain one and turn your work and this is how you're going to work for your bonnet head all the way up repeating this row two until you have 23 and a half inch so i have just finished and i'm going to chain one for now but before we do our last row we are going to measure just to double check so we have 23 and half inch so once you got this length we are going to finish our prepared piece with the row of single crochet 
So I already chained one and I'm going to place my first single crochet here like so and if you look from the top you will see the stitches very well so you will simply place one single crochet in every stitch across like this as we started with first row of single crochet we are going to finish with a row of single crochet so simply place like this single crochet all the way across now once you are done just leave it like this for a little bit you can also chain one like so and now make sure your right side is on the top so you know for right-handed you start it from here so this is your right side you know this is your right side as you can tell now we are going to sew one side and it doesn't matter because they both look the same so this is my right side so i am going to place stitch marker on top if you are not sure this may help because now we are going to turn our piece like this so the right sides are inside and now we are going to sew this part here and it's very handy to have these clips if you don't have them you can also use the pegs so i will just place them like this and i folded it exactly in half just make sure it's nice and these edges are nicely together so i will place one clip here one in the middle so when you sew it won't move or stretch okay so i will place one here like so before we sew it's a good idea to just chain one and you should have a little bit left so you will fasten off like this because we will be sewing with this long yarn end and i think i used about 100 grams so this is the whole ball i used and i have still a little bit left exactly for sewing next i'm going to thread my needle like this And we will be sewing so I took this clip off but I'm going to place it somewhere here so you can see better so it's not in the way to sew I am going to sew this way but if you have different uh, preferred way of course you can sew it the way you like so I am going to find the corner here like this and i will do two to three stitches like so in one place so one and maybe one more so when you open it it must be nicely in a line as you can see so next i like to put my finger between like this and go from the inside you can go slightly deeper like this and go from the inside and make sure your stitches are not too far apart and then from the inside like this And again, when you have this big loop from our stitches, just make sure you go through like this. So you go slightly deeper. You need to create this seam. And you don't want any gaps. Okay. 
it, okay? So you will solve like this, or the way you like, all the way up to your fold right here. And here you can see the bigger gap. So simply just go between like this. And the same on the other side. Okay, as we don't want any gaps. We want nice seam. So continue sewing like so. And I am finishing, I'm nearly at the top, right here. And simply just finish like so. And of course, you can hide this end in the seam so you don't have to do it later on. Like so, and back. And cut the yarn off. So let's check our seam and I think it's looking perfect. As you can see, these are nicely in line because we placed them on top of each other exactly. And you can still keep your stitch marker so you know this is your right side and it will help you a lot. So this, this is the back. And this is your opening and for the next step I am going to use this furry yarn just to make it nice around here but you don't have to this part is optional okay okay so for the next part I decided to go with this very very nice and soft super cute fur yarn of course not real I would never use a real one <laughs> and as you can see here, going to start on the right side. So in this corner here, this is my right side. So when you open it like this, I will start right here. And I will go all the way around until I get to this corner on the other side. So what I'm going to do with this yarn, I will be simply working single crochet all the way around in each gap i will find so not to worry if you miss some because this fur yarn will fill those gaps very well but before i do so i am going to show you with a normal yarn so you can see what i'm going to do first i'm going to show you with the normal yarn so i will find this corner and i will place it like this simply make a knot like so and I will insert my hook again into the same place and chain one like this and then each gap I will find I will simply do single crochet very loose like this so in every gap you find not to worry at all and you have these big gaps you can go under here and so on all the way around until you come to your other corner so i am going to do this with this fur yarn so now with this fur yarn 
so I will find this corner here like so and again insert into the same place and chain one and now in every cup I will do single crochet and it's impossible to see with this yarn that's why I showed you with the normal one but let me tell you it's looking so lovely I can't wait to wear this bonnie hat look at this it's so cute and super cozy so you will work like this in every cup you find and really loose you can also use bigger hook if you like and you will play simply single crochet all the way around like this so you will go all the way up until you get to this corner right here so I am finishing and this is my last two stitches here and I will go into this corner right here and simply just fasten off and you already know how to do it just chain one go through and cut the yarn and fasten off like this and on both sides you can leave it longer if you like and these can become your strings if you want so before you start you can leave this long like this because this yarn is quite strong but I decided to attach a chain here in different way but if you like it with the fur you can leave a long yarn and then continue all the way around and then again leave a long yarn and but for me I decided to do it something a little bit different next I am going to hide this end before we attach the string so I will simply just hide it here you can hide this with the hook if you leave it longer like this so you will simply need to manage like so all the way up through the stitches because this will be impossible with the yarn needle <laughs> so you will simply just need to feel this and hide it all the way up between the stitches like so And do this on the other side and then I just go down just to make sure it's nice and secure like this so my last one will be between like this and now you can cut your yarn off and hide it exactly the same way on this side here so once you have these ends inside you should have something like this and now we are going to attach the chain so i am going to attach the chain and the chain i will first i will do 15 inches long chain here then i will attach it here i will go all the way around like this and then we will chain 15 again and then we will go all the way back to make it thicker 
I will show you how to do it. Now we are going to start with the slip knot. We already know how to do the slip knot like this. And you will chain 15 inches long chain. So depends on the yarn you are using. You may use more or less chains than me. So I'm not going to say how many I have. Simply just chain as many as you need to get 15 inches. So continue and then I show you how to attach it to our head. So I wanted to show you how you can make this head for any size, even for the children. So first measurement will be the length of your piece, which we created at the start. So we need this measurement which goes all the way around and I measured simply from the shoulder all the way around like this to your shoulder so this will be your measurement so this will be the length of your piece we created at the start and this measurement you will measure like this so i like to measure from the middle at the back of my head like this from the middle to the front up to your nose and then i will add one more inch so the hood will be more loose and it will look much nicer so you will need only these two measurements to create this head for any size. So I have done my 15 inches long chain. And of course you can go even longer if you like for your head. So my one is 15 inches. So remember, if you want it longer, you can go up to 20 inches, but just must be exactly the same. So if I start 15 inches here, I need to finish with 15 inches. I have my 15 inches and I need to start on this side because it will be much easier to go all the way like this. So you will find your corner first. So my corner is somewhere here under this fur yarn. So I will just insert my hook while I have my chain on my hook like this. And I will bring it up and pull through like this. And now I will work single crochet in every stitch around like this and the reason why i start in here is because the single crochet looks much better and we want this nicer side on the right side okay so that's why we started on this side so let me just show you one more time so and if you want you can go under this fur yarn and start there but i think this will look lovely so we are on the right side and you will turn it like this because we want this nicer side of single crochet to be on the right side. So now you will simply place single crochet all the way around until you get to this middle part of your head because on this half we will have only these tiny loops which is our starting chain. So I will show you how to play single crochet into those once you get to this middle part right here. And then I show you how to finish it on this side here. I am in the middle at the back of my head. Where is the seam? And now you can see we don't have proper stitches, but not to worry because we can just go slightly deeper like this. And here 
you can just space your stitches as nice as you can. Don't worry if it's not in every stitch. You can space them as nice as you can. Just go slightly deeper like this under those tiny loops because this is our starting chain so we don't have these proper stitches like we had on this other half so continue until you come to your corner right here i am finishing and as i started on this side little bit away from this fur so i will finish like this so i will have one stitch somewhere here like so and now you are going to chain a long chain again so for me it was 15 inches so now you are going to chain again a long chain until you have 15 inches or even longer if you want you can go up to 20 inches it's up to you it depends how long you want your strings to be so continue chain 15 inches long chain and then i show you what to do next so i have just finished on the other side and to fasten off i left one chain here and i am going to do slip stitch like this now chain one leave a little bit longer so we can hide it in right here and if you want you can add the pom-poms or simply just do the knot like this big knot at the end one and one more make sure it's right at the end you can also add the beads if you like we don't need this stitch marker anymore and this is it this is our bonnet hat really cool i can't wait to wear it so that's how you are going to just tie the knot and wear it if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias i am on facebook instagram tiktok and pinterest thank you very much for watching